Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today on this rainy day, uh, I'm going to Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. Uh, they have a new item that sounds really, really good. This is just the front of the restaurant. I pulled up front to go to get my camera out to show you this and uh, get in drive through So I'm gonna take you with me and we'll try the new stuff. I took my coat off and my seatbelt off so it'll be a little more comfortable. Uh, let's see. I think there's a sign that says, please something. Please pull the window. Like they have two aisles here, two lanes to get drive through. One of them is closed. So the second one is open, but there's a sign on the drive through screen. I think it says, please pull to window to order. I can't really read it very well right now. So I'll tell you what it says when I get up there. Makes sense why things are going a little slow today. It says, please pull to window to place order. P.S. out of custard. How are you out of custard? So I guess I can't get the milkshake I was going to get. Hmm. Well, I will just get the burger then. And I'll probably get, uh, let's see, what do they have? We have onion rings. I might just get an order of onion rings. Then. What's interesting is they're not like taking an order and then getting you to pull up somewhere. Like Culver's uh, restaurant will get you to pull up um, and wait for your order. Seems like they would be pulling some cars up. Counting on their draft, these broken, completely broken. Seems like they'd be taking orders and having you pull somewhere so they could get at least three or four orders going at once instead of one at a time. And then the person pull, pulls up, orders, sits there until their order is ready before they take the next order. That doesn't make any sense to me. Because this person is ordered, they're, they're paying for it now. You see that means, they, they haven't moved. So I'm, I'm guessing they're just there waiting. They literally ordered, sat there until their food was ready and then got their food and drove off. That's stupid. Whoever's in charge up there is a dumbass. I blame that on the manager, not the people that work here as just employees, but the manager should know better. Um, can I get one of your French onion steak burgers? And so I guess we can't get the Oreo cookie peppermint shake, could I? No, just the burger. And then you said an oil peppermint shake? Yeah, just a small one. What else for you? That's it. You want to make a little reward for me? No. Now, what did you ask me about the shake? If I could get it, your sign back there says you're out of custard, so. Our sign says we're out of custard, right? Like no. I'm pretty sure it says P.S. Rada right Custard. I could be wrong, but you might want to look. I might be wrong, but you might want to look. <laughs> Thank you. That was about almost 35 minutes total. Um, it's a long time. If it wasn't for me wanting to review this sandwich, I definitely would not have waited um, around for that. I would have uh, left and went on somewhere else. So just to let you know, I stay in line for you all. Yeah, I'm gonna pull right here. They're building a building next to this. I don't know where that's gonna be. Probably some other restaurant. Okay, so this is the uh, French onion steak burger. You can see it's got the sauce and the bacon and onions. I don't see any crispy onions, but maybe they're on there. I don't know. Um, doesn't look like the picture, that's for sure. And here is the Oreo peppermint shake. Um, it has Oreo cookie pieces and peppermint um, pieces and peppermint syrup in there. So anyway, I'll, I'll give you a description of all these, but let me turn you around. I'll tell you the price and everything. 
Okay, I can turn, I can turn my windshield wipers off uh, finally. That's good. It's quite annoying. Okay, so the it's a double uh, French onion steak burger. It's got two patties on it. It was eight dollars and nine cents. That was just for the burger itself, not not a combo. And then the I got a mini Oreo peppermint shake. I just got the small one. It was five dollars and twenty nine cents, which seems a little high. Um, so my total was thirteen thirty eight with tax and everything. It was fourteen eighteen. So that was my actual total for the order. Um, like I said, the shake uh, looks pretty good. I see a few Oreo pieces. I love the size of the straw. There's no, uh, there's no getting around that. That's a big ass straw. Um, okay, so let me tell you what's supposed to be on the burger. It is two patties, Swiss cheese, grilled and crispy onions, bacon and French onion sauce. That was the white sauce, I'm guessing. Um, I didn't really, well, yeah, there is a slice of cheese between the burgers. I do see that. Um, and then the Oreo cookie peppermint shake is chocolate and vanilla custard with peppermint syrup, crushed Oreos, and peppermint candy, and then it's got whipped cream and peppermint candy on top. That, that's the description of both those items. So, I'm gonna go for the burger first. I kinda figure out the best way to pick this thing up. Bacon fell off, it means it's free bacon. You eat that without anything else. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, they mash the crap out of these burgers. I know they're like a smash burger, um, where they put them on the grill and smoosh them. It's kind of what they what they do with these. I trying to find the best place to bite into it. I don't get any crispy onions. I do get the sauteed onions, but not the crispy onions. Um, it's got a good flavor to it though. It's got a really good, uh, the burger is a very nice grilled um, hamburger. Um, has a crispy outside. It's pretty thin though on the edges. Now it's thicker on the in the middle, but the edges are very, very thin. I got a big bite of that um, French onion sauce. It's really, really good. You know, for it to be a, a French onion burger, I don't think the onion flavor is like that strong. I mean, it's there 100%, you know it's onion. But I was expecting it to be a really strong onion, but it's not, it's a, it's more of the, you get more of the sauteed onion kind of flavor. It's, so it's a more um, mellow, sweeter onion flavor, which is good, I like that. Um, the bacon, I get a little bit of the bacon flavor. It's not, it's not as overpowering like um, smoky bacon flavor, but you definitely get the bacon flavor. That's, that's for sure. Um, overall, pretty decent. Yeah, I like the flavor. I really do like the salted onions. Um. 95% sure that they did not put any crispy onions on this because I don't see any. Um, and I don't taste any. There's just nothing crispy, like crunchy onions on there. Overall, the burger though, I would give that, um, I wish it did have the crispy onions on it. So I'm gonna give it, I'm still gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I think it's a little expensive. What was it, $8? Yeah, $8 for a fairly thin burger. I mean, I've had some huge burgers for, for $8. That one's fairly thin for what you get. So let me try the shake. That straw is huge. Okay, I got the peppermint pieces. It tastes more like a it tastes like a chocolate milkshake with um, with peppermint pieces in it. That's all I get. I get the little pieces of Oreo occasionally, but it doesn't really taste like Oreo because Oreo has like a, a little bit of a, a darker, bitter chocolate flavor. This doesn't really have that. 
that being said, I do like it quite a bit. Um, I'm not usually a chocolate milkshake um, buyer. I usually don't buy chocolate milkshakes. I'd rather have the vanilla. But uh, I'm getting a little bit of the Oreo now that I've, I've just kind of settled. You get a little bit more of that darker cookie flavor. It's not bad. I'm going to give the shake. Uh, if you like peppermint, like candy cane peppermint flavor and chocolate, I think you'll like this. It's probably, I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's not my favorite. I really wish it, it had a little bit more of the Oreo crumble in there, but it's, it's okay. Four out of five, I think that's good. And you really get the Oreo flavor when you get a piece of the cookie. Um, so overall, both of these, I would recommend you try out if you have a Freddy in your area. Hopefully the drop thru is working so you don't have to wait 30 minutes for it. Definitely not wait a 30, thir worth a 30 minute wait, but it's definitely worth uh, the money. I think the $8 is a little expensive, but it, it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.